to the NEC. And before we kick off our pre-game coverage, we wanted to send a massive congratulations to the Fnatic Valorant team. They became the first ever two-time international Valorant champions this morning by beating evil geniuses from the Americas League in a clean 3-0 sweep. It's a long way for that league team to replicate that success, but it starts today by taking down the undefeated Mad Lions. I particularly enjoyed watching uh, the, uh, the ceremony at the end over my scrambled eggs at my hotel. Yeah, uh, Boaster twerking next to the trophy. Well, but also Boaster could speak Japanese. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't watch it. We're speaking Japanese, working <laughs> that crowd like an absolute maverick. I, but that's Boaster, right? He's one of the leading personalities, I feel like, in esports in general. He just knows how to, to work the crowd. And he used to be on Excel, anyways. I know. I, I remember <laughs> when he was Excel's blogger. He like would he'd be filming everyone, and then he was like, "I'm the sub. I'm the sub." But also, I film things. And uh, now he's one of the biggest players in the world. Fair play to him. God, we're biased, aren't we? Well, we, well we're allowed to be biased towards Boaster because it's Valorant. It's a different game. You're True. not a Valorant analyst. True. If you were Ender, then there would be an issue, but there isn't. And there aren't issues right now for Fnatic, it seems like, because they are showing up in uh, their team fights. But first of all, let's talk about Mad Lions. Because Mad Lions, uh, they are the team fight kings of the league right now. And I think it's it, it, it's especially something they used to be known as, but they're getting challenged as well right now by Fnatic too. I think recently Fnatic, not just in terms of playing the game and setting up themselves for the team fights, but also how they're co coordinating themselves in these team fights too. I think they have a bot lane they can reliably carry through, but I also think Rasok has stepped up immensely to be that initiator for his team. And some of these team fights have just been, I mean, outright beautiful from Fnatic. Yeah, I think overall Fnatic have stepped up massively, but this is going to be the real test for them as well, because sure, they have a good bot lane, but they are going up against Kasi, Huli, Aljoya is in the jungle, and some of the roles that have stepped up massively from the last split coming into this one, you know, they will be put to the test for real this time, and it's not, you know, going to be enough to, to have a good early game, because like we said, the team fighting is where Mad Lions really shine. They can play from behind, they can catch up, and they can take over in the middle late game, and that's where Fnatic struggled in the past. Well, they've had to play from behind every victory we've seen from them so far. Mad Lions might be 4-0, but they've always had to come back from behind. And it's interesting seeing Mad Lions have this new identity of actually playing to scale and to have that late game guarantee. Yeah, I mean, if you're looking at their goal graphs, you would see them absolutely just plummel down. And then when you reach that 20 minute mark, they gradually start getting off again. But yeah, I mean, we've, we've been talking to the players as well, and they've been saying that they're not fully that team fight team that they used to be. Obviously, they're not even the same players on the roster either. But I think what's really interesting is the fact that they're saying that having to become these team fight guards because their macro is not as good enough as it should be in the early game specifically. So they're kind of relying on the mechanics on their instinct to come back in these games. And obviously that's a very nice trait to have as a team, but you also need to get the first things right because you can't keep getting away with being like 2K, 5K back and having to team fight your way back. So I think for sure they've got a gift in their team fighting, but they need to do more as well if they want to remain consistent. We're going to have a gift in the bot lane matchup today though because it's Kazi versus Noah. Kazi's been having a really good summer so far. I, I feel like there's a quiet confidence from him. Meanwhile, all eyes have been on Noah. Who are your eyes on my Broxer? Honestly, I think both of these two AD carriers have been absolutely amazing so far. And I'm really curious to see how the junglers and the supports are able to set them up for success. Because there's no doubt in my mind that these two guys are going to perform, but it's not all about them. And Rassok, as we see on the stats here, huge impact in the early game, which is partly because he's been so good at playing around bot. Like his synergy with Trimby and Noah has been really amazing. And I think this could easily be an advantage coming into the day. Because sure, sometimes we see Mad Lions making early plays, but like we just mentioned, it's rarely really their strength. Yeah, those 14 minutes of the game, the first at least in the early game, they, they're going to have to shut down Rassok because he's been on an absolute tear. And I think that's not something I would usually catch myself saying, but he's been so good so far um, this split in summer. So I think for sure, Matt Lyons, they need to find that good old mid-jungle synergy, get Hilly on board as well, which is something they have struggled with to get Hilly and Elioia on the same page. But if they can do that as well and actually outroam, show that synergy that may not be fully pre-built with Trimby and Rassok just yet, that's an S you might look to kind of take advantage of, but so far Fnatic has been the one really getting ahead of it. It's also worth noting that Rassok has been part of 
100% of Fnatic kills Absolutely before minute amazing. 14. So here in the early game, like he's the main one we need to keep our eyes Absolutely. on. And I wonder what's going to happen if Razork has a bad day. Like if Fnatic just going to fall apart, who knows? Because there's so much pressure on this guy at the moment. He's not going to have a bad day. Look at that face. I feel like meowing. We're going to head over though <laughs> instead to Dracos and Vedius for Mad versus Fnatic. Because we know this one is going to be a bomb burner. Meow. Thank you very much, Frankie. Can I get the dramatic head whip? That was nice. So I was, that, I was tense. Out, like, Welcome. This is, uh, I think, my favorite game of the day on paper. I cannot wait to see how these two teams stack up. Fnatic obviously on a tear this season. Mad Lions have been looking pretty damn good as well. And we'll see yeah. if they can remain undefeated. Very Bot excited lane. to see what they can do. The pre-game banter is as beautiful as always. Both yep. teams throwing shade at one another. They're both ready. They're excited. And so are we. So without further ado, let's get into our draft for our final game of the day. in the audience today are immaculate. Thank you everyone Bam. here in Berlin. That, that is not That's what we were expecting. Client. And then of course, going in the draft, the crowd's got to say what they got to say. Their voice needs to be heard. We'll see if the cat does hit the band hammer. Zeri and Gragas are taking off the board. Dang, all right, taking the Gragas away. Humanoid said he didn't think Gragas was that strong. Obviously, Fnatic I see the team. laughing faces. Humanoid laughing right now. The player's looking over. Ooh, snap. Good energy on stage as well. Obviously, there's a strong relationship with a lot of these players on stage. People have played with each other before. The dramatic, you saw the pre-match, the dramatic tension. Humanoid often replacing Nisky on a number of different, both Splice and in Fnatic. We'll see what that mid lane matchup looks like today. The respect towards Humanoid as LeBlanc is banned. I don't know if Yumi Melio is going to hit the ban table. And if Yumi Melio are banned, Nico wide open. So something OP is making it through here something with this Gragas ban entering the mix. Something else is going to make it. The debate, Mad Lions the really Maltai taking their time. Well, still up. You have a choice right now. If you don't ban a support, you give Fnatic the option to not ban one either. Oh, they're going for the it. Trade. It's the trades. They're not doing it. Crowd, they're not going to ban Yumi. They're not going to ban it. They're going to trade OP supports. You're going to have to watch a Yumi game. Support for Mad Lions in the crowd. Kazi, three right. titles greater than Humanoids, too. Statistically accurate. Remember, everyone together. Boo! Boo. <laughs> Yumi not going to get banned. Okay, so instead, because both priority supports are up and available, they're going to prioritize the ED carry here on the side of Mad Lions, and Fnatic are going to get their pick of the litter. I would love to see Cogmont Melio response from Fnatic. I feel like the Braum was a big part of what made but the Cogmaw I told, Have you stay seen Cogmaw Melio? It's really gross. Because Cogmaw's range is already pretty long, and then you yeah. took Emilio on there, and he's like hitting you from the other side of Which the is, rift. Which is, that's an unlikely friendship duo. Yeah. yeah. They can't have anything Emilio in common. Uh, is... What, what, he's so wholesome. Fuamigo. Fuamigo is... Yeah, a little fire friend. He, he's friends with everyone, bro. There you go. There's the first friend. Okay, Cogmaw. Come on, give it to us. Emilio. Locked I in. mean, they might not lock in AD carry. They might just get Maokai here. Malkai doesn't seem like a bad choice. You can pick up your AD on three. Gives Mad Lions the opportunity to mismatch. Try to maybe lock in a mid lane or something and ban away a few options. Cassante. Okay. Not surprising. Oscar Renan. I think to the surprise of many, has been stepping up a lot this split. He's yeah. been having a lot of presence. Solid trajectory. I'll say, yeah. you know, the first few games on stage were, were difficult. Were tragic. Yeah. yeah, tragic, <laughs> I think. And then, you know, solid individual performances and just continuing to improve. Uh, yeah. Quiet on the top side of the map is very often the case, but doing very well in his own right. One Yumi enthusiast in the okay. crowd. And hey, look, I'm not oh, here God, to... that's a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's Yumi. It's Yumi. Refs laughing. The players, they know what they've got to do to win. Yep. And it's betray all of their morals. <laughs> Walk in a cat. Do whatever it takes. <laughs> I, don't, you know? I don't know if it's quite that dramatic. No, it's not. But if you look at the first three picks here, that's in a terms lot of, of OPs. meta power, yep, that's a lot of OPs. This you is look three at Fnatic OPs as well. versus two OPs. What is left that Fnatic can take that's strong? Zaya's good. Zaya, okay. 
but I don't know if it's as strong as these other ones. It is good to have a, a solid defensive option here against this the potential was Nico bullied by Caps as Nico. True. While they did win that game, he came onto the desk afterwards and said, that was horrible. Yep. I, I'm never giving Caps Nico again. But now he gets to be the elusive one. The, the most ridiculous thing about this champion is that when you are close, or when you camouflage, when you can't watch anything, you, you can't see the initial part of the yep. ultimate. So you gotta just react or predict. Yeah, basically just predict. It's a, it's a tough one. So, but I will say, I do think the Melio is one of the better answers into it. Because the moment that you're rooted, instantly ultimate. And if you if it comes out a little early, the Doesn't tenacity matter. that you yeah. get really helps. Um, so Zaya Melio, I think, in terms of matchups into Nico, I think are pretty good. Yeah, a lot of uh, potential to control space as well. Ironically, it's what Mad used into G2 when Mad won that series. Oh, yeah. that game. Yeah, they also used the power of Caps' hubris <laughs> when he turned it into a and watched his top That's die. true, yes. So we'll see if Oscar or Humanoid or anyone else has a little bit of hubris on the side of Fnatic. For now, though, jungle priority. Maokai is still up. Yeah, it seems like they have a very different strategy in mind here. You know what I think of the last two picks for Maokai should be? Well, Maokai Orn. Make it boring. Make it slow. It does now, let's though. sit in this. No, it sounds terrible. But well, I mean, it's not the worst if you can force our ultimate out early, but and then follow up with the Nico. Yeah, maybe. Okay, I actually like the way you're thinking. Good call. Good predict on the Maokai Orn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I see what you've done. That's clever. <laughs> Silas is a interesting. No, no, option. don't get baited. Don't do It's that. probably going to be a Z. Don't, don't do that. It's don't. Be... No. Oh, uh, man. Ariana's fine, bro. I, conceptually, yes. I just think this champion is not a fan of Ariana. Low energy, man. You Low know what energy. I mean? But the shockwave will find them all. Maybe. Maybe humanoid shockwave will find them all. I'll have to wait and see. Mad Lions, though. Jungle top laner will be how they round out their draft. What are we thinking, Mad Lions? What are we thinking? Okay. Okay, so they're going to play Chasey's Jace top lane into the Cassante. I like it. We've Chase. all seen Chasey's Jace before. Yeah, Chasey just hit 200 kills. Uh, this is a guy who's been tearing it up. He was kind of underestimated to a certain degree, I think up until his previous playoffs run where they were able to win. He was doing so much work, even against a player like Photon, who was kind of lauded to be a, you know, a cut above. But now the debate, I like Jarvan. You need a way to get the ball <laughs> into the enemy backline. Currently, you have none. That champion's disabled. That's why I started it. It's not allowed. That one's Lance, allowed. Trimby's just, he's just messing with you. It's Weaponized depression. No, nope. okay, there it is. Uh, <laughs> I was actually kind of excited for a Trundle. I think Trundle could have been pretty good. Yeah, having the pillar would have been nice. I, I do like a champion who wants to go forward to pair with the Orianna, uh, generally, but don't really have a great one here. I guess Maokai with Swiss Advance is the best option you've got. So all day, Dracos, we've seen front-to-back team fight compositions. So unsurprisingly, Fnatic have drafted that as well. Mad Lions is a little more unique because they do have a little more poke at their disposal. Aphelios with the green gun, Yumi Q, Jace Q means that they have a little bit more setup around these neutrals. Yeah. Um, they do also have a little bit more side lane threat. Jace in a side lane. We've seen what Chasey can do on this champion. You think back to what, I mean, it was, I believe it was winter where we really saw his Jace absolutely popping off. Um, but yeah, the man is a monster on this champion. The, the Korean Jace came to Europe and it did some damage. We'll see if he can have a monster performance on it today. Reminder that Mad Lions so far are undefeated. Obviously, after MSI, fans were skeptical about the strength of this team, but so far, they've lived up to their own expectations. Yep. They believe that they are a top contender here in the LAC, and Fnatic continue to surprise. A win here will put them at the top of the table. Let's see if Fnatic can go toe to toe with the Mad Lions. Brace yourself, Berlin. It's time for our final game of the day. Mad Lions versus Fnatic.
Finds Razork, Razork finds Hillisang. Oh, the Mad Lions and the Fnatic chants are strong. At first, I thought it was just Fnatic chants, but I, heard, I saw and heard the Trading Mad Lions. Blows. Yeah, going back and forth, the energy is strong. Okay, Vetti, look. There are a lot of narratives here in the yeah. LEC, and there's a lot of gameplay stuff, too, that we can talk about. True. But we have to start with an important historical piece of information. That I will wait, I'll wait. Yeah, yeah. audience, going back you're going to want to know this. Uh, audience. audience, this is juicy. Audience, this is really important. So, Hillisang is an incredibly historic player. Hillisang has played for many years. And he is it's a fan favorite. incredibly close to a career milestone. Currently, in his LEC career, Hillisang has 1,995 deaths. He is five deaths away from 2,000 deaths. This is one of the most historic, one of the most successful, and one of the most wildly aggressive supports in our league. <laughs> he probably won't die five times on Yumi, but the oh, potential, but if, he does. but if anyone can do it, it's Hilly. <laughs> and he will have a nigh unmatched milestone. And I regardless it's the first of whether or not you are a Hilly fan, a Mad Lions fan, a Fnatic fan, I think this audience wants to see Yumi die five times. Yes. <laughs> <Is> that <laughs> That's double value. That's double value. That's right right saying, there. hitting a milestone. <laughs> you be dying five times. So we'll see. We'll keep track of that. But let's look at the junglers right now, because El Yoya started on his red buff, sneakily went over the wall, and is going to steal away this blue. Should also take away the Grom, as Razok is doing a full clear on the top side. El Yoya, is the pace fast enough for him to secure that? I think the it pace will be. Is good. Single target clear for Sejuani early on is just so strong. And then what will we expect? Bot lane gank. Yep. Right now, though, early trades very much going in favor of Fnatic. Karzi with Severum. The red gun can heal up a lot of that damage, but Noah and Trimby, as expected, as two complete champions in the early game. Should have a bit more prior. Oh, no, I'm casting a Nico game. Even before the Nico changes, I kept getting baited by Nico, and now it's just doubled even worse. <laughs> it's just. It's like living with anxiety. It is. You know what I mean? Like, anything could turn into Nico. Who's it's just a paranoia. Nico? Is that even the real Nico? How do we know? The fact that you can make the clone base stresses me out, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fall. You have to trap. cancel the base. Those are the rules. <laughs> All right. Mad Lions bot lane. They're not gonna get a gank from Elio yet. Instead, he's just gonna focus on clearing out his are jungle. Are they gonna dive? Power clearing. Can they get a dive here? They need how long? You can see the pink bar next to Karzi's name. Close to level. He needs okay. one more minion for level Kill three. Kill the cat. Karzi. Hillisang, can they get another way out of this one? A nice sidestep on the Ultra Mega Fire. Get Karzi now, trying to make his way out of this one. They don't clear the damage! Whoa, great survival from the side of Mad Lions. How did they navigate that? Karzi gets away with a sliver of HP. Can they redive? Don't walk to the bush. Don't walk to the bush. Oh, okay, okay. Meow, 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 meow. Cat v. Cat. Dangerous. He has to retreat now, so. A lot of CS going to be denied here. Yeah, I mean, overall, it's still a big win for Fnatic. Razzwick did have his whole bot side stolen. Oh, no. Which one? What? <laughs> what? What? Which one's the real Nico? What is that? What? what is that? <laughs> Was that How Nico's... do I do that? <laughs> I, will, I will play this champion every game. That's <laughs> that. Oh, please do it in a fight. That's, that would be so funny. <laughs> All right, oh, Nisky, on. They found now stepping noise. forward. No chance to do the helicopter emote as there's another fight breaking out in the meantime. Oscarin trying to go for the solo ball onto Chasey. KR oh, should be speeding a bit of EU Kasate right there, baby. Oscar finding the solo. Oscar in in. His climb back to redemption finds a solo kill onto Chasey. It's been a solid season thus far, but that is still quite an impressive. Oh, feat. Oh, spin on him! Spin! <laughs> It doesn't do that's anything. That's amazing. Though. I've never seen that. Oh, that's so cool. This is the tech. When this teams is... say they're cooking, this is what I want to see. I'm having so much fun right now. Razog <laughs> on the flying. Here we go. Alioya, though, does he know? Does... Alioya, he's pathing towards the bot side of the jungle. Trimmy making his way here as well. Here comes Razog. No Can't summoners. Resist. It's a juicy trade. But is it a juicy trade? The knockback now to the waiting arms of Noah. The feathers are set up. Noah grabs a quick kill on the Karzi. And Fnatic already five minutes into the game. They are 1k gold ahead. Successful plays on the bottom side. A successful solo kill on the top side for Oscar as well. And the problem for Mad. The Koi emote from Trimby. Is, is that this bot lane is not in a good state. Uh, as observers are highlighting right now, this wave is pushing towards Fnatic side which means that even more minions are going to be denied. And when Kazi gets back to lane, it's just going to be in a very awkward state. This is why Alioya will be forced to cover 
around the bot side to make sure that a regank does not happen. I think that he did navigate the vision there. Yep. The little critter was spotted, but I don't know if anyone on Fnatic noticed that. Oh, yeah, here he is. You because the beauty of this wave being in this awkward position means that you can stack the wave and threaten to dive. Niski, though, moves back to mid. I don't think they're going to gamble this, no, yeah. Aldoye is hesitant. He realizes Maokai's in the area. Okay, Oscar, Oscar. now going to pull Chasey back again. Will he go for the alt here? Knockback on the thunder and blow there. Okay, so... No further play on that one as Elio just going to start up the objective here. Fnatic no pry on the bottom side means they're not really in a good position to contest. And overall, still a very Fnatic favorite early game. Need to keep their eyes on the prize, however, as Mad Lions have actually been falling behind in a decent number of their wins and coming back through that mid to late game team fighting. Yeah. So, it's, very well, this, it's not a good early game. You're not too worried if you're a Mad Lions fan yet. Oh. <gasps> the pain. The dead. The slow, the, the ulti, they didn't see it coming. Heist Master Niski. I am impressed. That was cool. You that put a was... Hillsang on them, they're baited. There's you, a cat there. Yeah, man. They don't you see think... it coming. They didn't see that coming. That was great use of the camouflage. And they were kind of suspicious when, quote unquote, Kazi was just walking up. They were like, what's going on? Lo and behold, it was Niski all along. And it's still Niski. It, Niski's sending the dancing Sejuani onto Humanoid. Which is respectable BM tech. Hell yeah. To be certain. But a good uh, strike back there on the bottom side for the Mad Lions. Let's oh, take a look a at that play. So out of the fog of war, we're getting Fnatic's POV right now. They just see Niski. Well, they're they like, don't see Niski. This is not Niski. This is Kazi. And then lo and behold, flash in from Niski. The two-man knockup. Cleanse comes out of Noah. So... You, the second that he auto-attacks with the purple gun and it doesn't leave a mark on the minion, you know that it's oh, the uh, Nico. you're right. So I don't know if they saw that, and I don't actually know if they could have done anything to respond anyway once he was that close anyway. Or yeah, I don't think they had close. flashes, right? So, pretty sure it happens no matter what. Who cares? It was cool. Looked sick. This is why I like I love champions like Nico, just because they're so fun to watch. The cool tech that you can do. Yeah, as long as I don't have to play against them, great. Imagine if Zack could turn into a blob and just like sneak into secret places. Just like hide in the in the river, in the cracks there. Yeah, just exactly. Come out. Yeah, he could just mold into a bush. Just saying, he's supposed to be a high-tech weapon and I've never seen him turn Yeah, he doesn't go. seem very high-tech as no. far as weapons go. He kind of just leaves just them. It's so good. It's good every time. <laughs> for this one game, I'm going to laugh every time it it's happens just, and then people can go to bully me Nico for talking about it too much. Nico living their best life. You know what I mean? Yeah. However, Fnatic, Priority on the Herald. It's <laughs> <laughs> a serious game. This, this is professional is esports. <laughs> we cast a professional game. The yeah. highest level. True. Second True. highest level. Third highest level. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Humanoid. Ooh! <laughs> cheeky yoinkies! <laughs> Did you just say cheeky yoinkies? Uh, isn't that British slang? Uh oh. Humanoid, can you count? Yes, you can. Not gonna fall for that one. Is that not British? Slime? I thought that's what they say. It's that, true. It's, it's London in, or yeah, Liverpool. It's in grime. Or they say it's in grime. You're right. Actually, I heard Stormzy added in his recent <laughs> release. <laughs> Look, man, you started uh, song a banger, so I'll take that. I can't. I can't. I can't. Serious job. Uh, again, very high stakes match between two of the best performing teams in our league. But uh, Nico undermining the series. Well, I mean, we're waiting for objectives to spawn right now. The lightning phase continues. Well, there's a Herald. We're kind of waiting at this point. Fnatic have gotten the objective. Yeah, they So we're waiting to see where they will use the Herald. This bot lane is mostly evened out. 400 gold lead to Noah. Razzle has the Blast Cone. Niski is there to assist, though. Elioia will smite that one away. Good that he's able to spot out Elioia. And uh-oh. Who's the real Sejuani? Now there are there's two There's three Sejuanis. Uh-oh, that one's <laughs> dancing. <laughs> That's not the real one. Good, good, up, good observation. Good observation. <laughs> Can you dance and walk no. at the same time? This right. Is, this is a unique to Nico <laughs> thing. Now the chains. You see the fob. Quick flash out from Humanoid. Well played. No shockwave for Humanoid, but they're going for this fight. Fnatic. Sustained damage. How much can they get done here? The root on El Yoya. Noah now on the way up. Play going to fizzle out, however. All right. So just a bit of trading as El Yoya is forced to flash away. Humanoid, his flash lost too. So a bit of a trade to summon a spells. Dragon spawns in a minute's time. The shockwave will be up. Algoya's ultimate will not be in. He's at a bit of a health disadvantage right yep. now. So Fnatic is in the better position to contest. Oscar Rinnan commits the TP. So Chasey will have that advantage. 
but he has to find space and time to use that teleport if he wants to get out of lane, which is going to be a little bit difficult because... Uh, 1k gold lead now for Oscar. Yeah, and this is kind of while the bottom side of the map is trading blows, Oscar is, again, up here very quietly just demolishing Chasey in terms of individual gold advantage. And this is not a Gwen, this is a Jace. He does physical damage. So this Iceborne Gauntlet first buy is just ruining all hopes he has of, of trading effectively in this lane at all. You're just laughing at the Nico again, aren't you? I was laughing at the Nico again. Her tail is a helicopter, Daniel. How can I not laugh? Mode. It's so good. I wish I had a tail that could be used as a helicopter. It'd be so convenient. All right, calm down, Mr. Furry. <laughs> there you are. Karzy stepping in. Good trade. Wait, no. Nico ultimate. Or not Nico ultimate. Do any damage. <laughs> Does not do damage. It's true. It's the Yumi. Yeah. Getting my animal champions mixed up. I mean, it's fine, dude. Nico tricks all of us. Yeah. Dragon is now up, though. And of course, with the bot lane of Fnatic being forced back, could have been a window for Matt to start that one off. But oh, I'll go knockback. Pullback. Nice interaction, though. Knocks him into the tower, but Oscar's still not trying to get the solo. Oh. It's one for one. Good play from Chasey. Does, of course, have the TP, so he can just go back to top, catch that wave. But being able to get a one for one, considering he was a whole level down. I feel like getting the kill first is more valuable. I think you get more XP when you get that initial kill. Yep. I'm trying to see who ends up actually getting that kill first. Find out as Fnatic for now uncontested on the objective. They will take their first strike of the game, trading one for one, and it's going to be an ocean rift, crucial for both sides. Yeah, I do hope we get a replay of that 1v1, because uh, the timing on Chasey's knockback was great to force Oscar in underneath the tower. He wasn't going to fall for the same trick twice. Oh, we are going to get that replay. Nice. So let's have a look at this. Both full HP. Chasey last hits the minion. Okay. The unstoppable stuns up. And then look, the hammer form oh, comes in just yeah. the right time to knock him all the way back. So and it then... knocks you back relative Ooh. to the starting position at the cast time of the ability seems to be the interaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why he gets knocked back so, so far. far. Yeah. Uh, all right, Harold gonna charge a little bit more money in the back pocket of Noah. Noah already full item completed here as Karzy's doing his best <laughs> to catch up. Our is just showing us every time. <laughs> I respect Niski for doing it consistently. You know, like if he did it once or twice, every but he's time. like deliberately doing it Do you it think now. he changed his keybinds? I, of, of course he changed his keybinds. <laughs> That's the only way. It's probably on commitment. his mouse. <laughs> 113 emote spam levels of commitment there. Have you ever done that in a Saluku game where you just like you start dancing in mid lane? The other oh. Mid oh, hang on a second. Hold on. Pullback. Niski having a good time, but Humanoid just blowing him up in that just trade. Just using the anti tech there, just ults to force him out of wave. True. Lane rather. Um, but yeah, you you type you start dancing in mid lane, and then you just type in all chat, press D to dance, and then you try to bait someone every time. In. Yep. Well, this case, it looks like Humanoid's gonna be the one locked up. Niski flawless chain CC. Razork now just trying to find the disengage. Can he get anything done? Niski relatively low. Ticking a little bit here as the Mnemonic Embrace has been completed, but that's the stun. Now the snare falls to flash in, though. Razork knows that he has to fight for his life here, but he can't quite finish the kill, and it's two in the mid lane for the Mad Lions. Meanwhile, on the top side, Bloodbath. So they trade spells back and forth here between Oscar and Chasey, but every, each and every lane is just fighting. Great play from the mid jungle for the Mad Lions as they've been able to equalize the gold after finding a nice mid-jungle combo. The problem is a flashless Orianna, very difficult to get out of that chain CC. It's just an easy setup in El Yoya and Niski, either side of the lane, dash in into the ultimate. Very little that Humanoid can do here. The chain CC follow-up, ultimate into the root, means that it uh, ends up dying. Ooh. Noah forced the ultimate away there. But uh, as well, Razork in that last play, he saw the low HP from Niski, and I think he could have got the kill, but Niski, last second, flashes away from the Q yep. to be able to survive. And you have to credit the Merc Treads here. <laughs> okay, so it's really funny if you're in the studio. Um, Trimby literally just shouted on stage, Nico is bot, Nico, 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 that is Nico. <laughs> so... Yeah. I mean, it's the it's, I, Niski told us about it. He's like, basically, you start counting creeps, you start being hyper aware, you do the tab tech. Yep. So you press tab to see if she's like appeared Absolute on the map paranoia. somewhere. Yeah. Yep. For now, Mad Lions, while they were struggling in the top lane, for now, with the wave even, with advantage in the mid lane, given they shifted their AD carry first, they are able to start this Herald. Razor, will he go for the steal here? Three seconds on the ultimate. From red side, really tough to access the pit, so it looks like second Herald will just drop in the favor of the Mad Lions. Gold lead for Fnatic early game, about 1k, 1.5k in their favor, but it's just about dead even now. Top lane still their advantage, but the mid lane very much in favor of the Mad Lions. The close game we have between these two teams. 
considered two of the strongest in the league right now. Yeah. This is the ideal matchup that you would want. Both teams going blow for blow. You imagine the team fights are going to be crazy. Humanoid Doriana, we've seen him land some clutch plays in the past. We'll see if he can find another one today. Dragon up in a minute's time. Razzle prioritizing the hell, but he. That goes. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. The second like they turned out the Fog of War, I was like, Nico can't one shot Maokai. I was like, There's only one thing they're the doing. The thing with is, this. we've been casting for many years, right? And so there are certain tricks that you'll notice when an observer does something that indicates something's about to happen. And that yep. was one of those where they highlight the fog. He's just like, uh oh, is Razok about to die? Yeah. And then, of course, a Nico comes out of the brush. <laughs> and while I love our observers, and I think they're the best of they the world love trolling they do, us. they love trolling us. The best ones are the Ezreal ults. Like oh, or the, the Ash ults who are going to whip when the, They'll follow them really intensely. And then you're like, oh, the Ezreal! And then it just completely no. goes wide. A shout out to our observers. They're fantastic. Yeah. Woo, observers! Thank yeah, you, thank bro. You, they do deserve awesome. that love. Uh, um, important to note, I, I feel like Jace, ever since they took Omni Vamp off, the, off of Eclipse, it just feels so much worse in the lane. Because Oscar just gets to jump in with that big beefy health bar, hit you a few times, and you walk away. What do you get? A shield? That's a cheer for you guys. Oh, that, that is for so. the observers. That's very nice crowd. They don't get many crowd chants, so that probably means a lot to them. Yep, they're, they're zooming in and they're out. They're zooming they, in they, 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 they you. appreciate you. Dragon is now up, though. So now we have to be professional once again. Shock Blast connecting. Doing damage, not yet. But at some point, it will start to hurt. Niski. Threatening in his friend. He's threatening. <laughs> Looming. Oh. He made Niski dance. He made Niski, he made Elioria's copy dance. made Elioria's copy dance. But right now, it's mad to have control over the river. Niski, Real Niski. Though. It looks like fake Niski. Wait, no, it's fake Niski. <laughs> 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 Yumi hitting. Oscar. Look, 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 Oscar found one. He's going to knock back. He pulls Karzi into the team. Can they finish the jump? Yes, they can. No, Karzi still standing. Just for one auto more. But no, it throws down the feathers. No one can now immediately follow up. Niski's going to be in trouble, but he waits. Shut down. Coming through for Fnatic. Oscar with the call. The play coming through for Fnatic. Oscar Renin does it again. This man is a shining star for Fnatic as he catches Karzi off guard and is able to make the monster play happen. Straight into the replay, you'll watch him here. Sees Kazi out of position, the stun into knockback, the cleanse comes through, but it's not enough. Ultimate is enough to bring Kazi into the waiting arms of Fnatic. They find themselves the kill, they get themselves a second onto Niski too. Oscar in it, clutching up for Fnatic and will return Fnatic to the gold lead. In a relatively close game with back and forth trades, Oscar has been the shining light for Fnatic individually, building advantages, and now coming up clutch in the team play as well in that fight. I want to glow Fnatic. up for him, right? It's I mean, just, yeah, it's a, I think like for those first three games, he didn't have a kill. He was like 0-17. Oh, he was, I mean, the strategy was clearly to camp him right? and, and shut then, him down. And then on top of that, it was um, that he'd also replaced Wonder, so like yeah. the fan sentiment was not behind him. And it's... The trajectory of Fnatic this year is is wild. Like, yep. what absolute emotional whiplash for, for Fnatic fans. From doing great at top of the league, to complete collapse, to steady growth in spring, and to now being here in these first two weeks looking like an incredibly dominant force. Thank you, production team, for highlighting the standings here. And again, a win here would tie them for first with G2 and Mads. Like, when you, when you looked at the start of this year and Fnatic, like, they weren't sitting at the top of the table anymore. But with this roster, with the addition of Trimby, with Oscarin and kind of finding his place within the LEC, and with the brand new addition of their AD carrying Noah, yeah, it just seems that they've managed to find the formula that is bringing them success. Of course, still the rest of the summer season to go. Oscarin now being the target of Mad Lion's aggression. See if he can find his way out of this one. Chase is going to knock him back into El Yo. Q3 up and available. Clean side stuff for Oscar for now. Going to dash out to safety. Only two stacks. Now going to force oh, out the very ultimate. Nice. Yes. The unstoppable, able to walk away. Jace damage is decent. Karzi now looking to follow up a dash back into the queue, but can they get the dump damage to finish it down? Oscar, a nice sidestep, but there's simply too many members on the top side of the map. 1v1, Niski versus Humanoid. You saw the video at the start of the day, but it looks like Humanoid wins these. The creeps will not be enough. Oriana taking advantage in the 1v1. Now Noah and Trimby make their way towards top. They are, of course, isolating the duo, but Karzi could be in trouble. Good guns for a fight, but Noah just does so much upfront damage. Now trying to mark him down. Noah getting up into the air, coming right back down. Hell 
zigzag and sent straight to the grave. It's a double for Noah. Wow, uh, great timing for Fnatic. And now look at this, the Baron is up for grabs with three members dead on Mad. What was a promising pick onto Oscar Renin has quickly turned in Fnatic's favor. They spent so many resources to get that done. The fact that Humanoid is able to win the 1v1 as well. Big for Fnatic, 20 minutes into the game. Baron right as it respawns, greets four members standing strong from Fnatic. Grabbing the buff, building a huge lead for themselves in the back of these plays. We're gonna get a look back at the 1v1. Humanoid was not expecting the route to come through. Three procs of the Q as well into the ultimate. Max damage coming out from Niski. Humanoid able to just trade it back though. Niski flashes over the wall, the auto attack. The clockwork windup, I believe yep. it's called. Yep. Doing some serious damage there. And then the timing here is great. Just as the recalls come through from the rest of Mads, Kazi and Hillisang are left isolated. And that's an easy 2v2 kill for Noah and Trimby. And the damage output coming in from that passive on the Milio massive as well as Noah. Obviously very strong at this stage of the game. That's the thing about you know, Zaya, if she pulls ahead, man, go up in the air, get to mitigate all that potential auto attack damage, yep. follow up with all those feathers. It's so tricky to do anything in those 1v1s. It's great. Normally it's only ever in Valorant that you talk about timing, but yeah. happens in League as well. Humanoid though could be in some danger here. Oh, he spots out Elio, yeah? He's going to continue to harass here. Elio getting pulled back by the Shockwave. What is the play here? Niski on the top side of the map, but it's a fake Niski. So there's not a lot here. There's not a play to be had. Happy to pick up the kill on Elio, yeah. Ziski just throws out a snare and tries to get away. But look at the aggression here from Fnatic. They're not slowing down Oscar at all. Oscar finds the cat! Oscar looking to take Hillisang out of the equation, but he takes so much damage. Gargoyle stone plate. Oh, he was so far ahead, but he might just give his life away. Karzi faster because of the Severum. Now getting slowed down. Oscar wants to dash with the wall. Oscar still standing, but they'll finally find the kill. But meanwhile, on the bottom side of the map, it's disaster for Mad Lions. They committed so much to take Oscar down. They're going to lose a tier two in exchange. So Oscar feeling himself a little too much over aggresses in the mid lane, and Karzi's able to punish him. But Fnatic don't use that to slow down. They immediately attack the top side. They know they have the Baron buff. Razok sees Niski. And he just oversteps, wasn't expecting the Maokai ultimate to come through. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Bit of an oopsie there from Razork. But still, the play ends up working out. And Fnatic get themselves the top tower. 3.2k is the bound power play for Fnatic. Trimby has a 1.1k gold lead over Hillisang. That he does. That's crazy. Hilly is also four deaths away from his 2000 record. Yes. 1996, where he's at currently, traveling through time. <laughs> Mad Lions. When will we get to the year 2000? <laughs> you know what song I just I know <laughs> what song I didn't, but someone showed it to me recently. <laughs> uh, uh, I love it. Yeah. Isn't it the year 3000? It's actually the anyway. year 3000. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Stepping up. Niski off to the side. Tangle Barbs are now caught in the midst of the team, trying to back off, baiting with the fake clone. But Razor just body blocking, not giving an avenue of attack. And the a no moment of domination there, it feels like, for Fnatic. It looked like a pretty good opportunity for them to commit, but I guess without Kazi, they realized that they didn't have the damage to win the fight. Fnatic just get themselves a free pick. Continuing to pressure here. Karzi backing off. Elio, you're going to shadow him. No on the bottom side, clearing out a bit of vision. Is he going to push the wave? It looks like the setup is going to be under the third Drake for Fnatic. They are in total control of the game at this stage. Wow. What a glow up for Fnatic. Bear in mind, their only loss this split has been to G2. And if they win this game, they will tie G2 and Mad at the top of the standings, and they will be the yep. one to stop Mad's undefeated run. The ultimate from Razzle. That's worth Isolating, now trying to get him burned down. But Chase, he's so squishy, it's easy to find those kills. TP coming in from the Nico. Niski throwing down a bit of damage, getting a flash out for now. Karzi trying to fire back a little bit. Noah going to get the kill onto Niski with ease. Now going to grab a tier two turret to boot. Noah Fnatic. is godlike. 7 0 3. Quietly been picking up kills as Fnatic have just been tearing that apart after securing that Baron. Only four minutes ago, they've just been taking over the map. An inhibitor will spawn. The dragon is up for taking. Fnatic are making a statement with this game. Certainly are. It's not going to get any easier for Mad Lions. Karzi forced building armor penetration just to get through this Cassante health bar. Lifesteal on the opposite side for Noah, giving him even more advantage. And Razork just fishes for it, finds an easy pick. On to Chasey, who is so squishy, who is so far behind and the rest of the play still going in favor of Fnatic as well. Yeah, the Wombo combo's clean from Fnatic. Humanoid forced to flash out away from the E. And then Noah, he's just doing damage. Easy, clean pickup. As we mentioned earlier, seven kills to his name. 
Hasn't really been the star of this game, but don't let that take away from the fact that he has been absolutely on point, yet to die. And me and the rest of Fnatic have just been dominating. There are a couple moments where it was looking a little scary for Fnatic. Mad, after being in a bit of an early game goal deficit, were able to claw back. They were getting a couple neutrals in the early game, but that single fight from Oscar in and around the Dragon, the third Dragon, was really what cemented Fnatic's gold yeah. lead. I mean, the early to mid game was defined by Oscar. Now at this stage, uh, he's probably not going to be able to have that same level of impact. It's going to be much more about But he's done Noah. his job, right? But yeah, he did his job. Finding that solo kill on the top side, TPing down for that hugely favored fight. Um, he's been absorbing so much pressure. So don't let a 2-3-2 scoreline fool you if you're just tuning in. So much of this game has been about Oscar on the top side of the map. Yeah. Now, next Baron, 33 seconds away. Fnatic taking away the blue buff. Going to continue to keep pressure up in the mid lane, you'd expect, as well as clear out some of this vision just to make sure that they have an easy start as soon as it spawns. You know, the funny thing that I've been reading recently is that a lot of Fnatic fans are kind of treating Fnatic like KT, where they're kind of hesitant to say good things because they're yep. expecting it all they're to afraid. just crash and burn anytime soon. Yes. So no, will they be someone excited says yet? Yeah. Someone <laughs> believes <laughs> that through and through. That burning, None of that paranoia <laughs> stuff. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Do the fans believe yet? Fnatic are in a fantastic position. 9K is the gold lead. I won't Bonnie cast the curse still them. dancing. Mad Lions, though, are the team fight team. Let's see if they can find a team fight to claw their way back into this. 5v5 in mid. Niski baiting. Poking. Which Sejuani is the real Sejuani? They know now. They know now. <laughs> Passive. Makes it a little bit easier. Fnatic fans believe the Baron has been started. Mad Lions, it feels like you have to do something here. You can't just give late. this one away. Oscar stepping up to zone anybody away. He only needs to worry about it. Okay, that is Baron to the side of Fnatic. Mad Lions cannot even respond. They have a massive wave on the bottom side of the map. If Fnatic just keep the pressure up, they should be able to grab mid lane inhibitor at least or top lane for free. Fnatic with a very clean Baron take. They don't need to wait for the Dragon. They can play around these waves. They have pushing mid, pushing top. Bot wave is making its way forward as well. Razor, a little early on the ultimate. They don't yep. quite have nowhere there yet. Shock the damage. They don't even need him. Humanoid just one shots the top laner. It zones the rest of the team away from clearing the wave. And Karzi now doing what he can to clear out these minions, to keep them in the game as long as possible. Because keep your eyes on Oscar in the mid lane. He's already breaking down another tower. He can start to roam over. He can fish for the angle and he can knock Karzi right back into the waiting arms of the rest of the team. El Yoyo still standing. Niski desperate to turn this one back. But he doesn't have the damage. He doesn't have the time. He doesn't have the life. He doesn't have anything left. Just Fnatic tear through the base of the Mad Lions. Give Hillisang one more death. 1997, three away now from that 2K landmark. Fnatic showing up, tying themselves to the top of the standings alongside the Mad Lions and G2 Esports. When Fnatic lost face Mad and they got this close to the ne Nexus, they were pushed back and it was Mad that made their miracle run to become champions of spring. Fnatic are able to get their revenge and with a roster that people were not expecting to be as strong as they are, they now tie the top of the league four and one. And as we mentioned before, four wins was often enough to get top eight. Obviously, Fnatic still have games to be played. They still have four games left. And Fnatic are looking good. And again, right now, the, the story of the start of the year might not matter for a lot of these players oh. who come in. Oh, the pat on Casey's <laughs> He wanted to pat Casey's yeah. head, yeah. yeah. About the interview. <laughs> uh, you know, the story of the start of the year might not matter for a lot of the players who, who you know, who weren't here, who have been swapped in. Oscar, Noah, Trimby. But, it, it, but for Fnatic fans, I think it's so fantastic to go from, you know, to see this momentum again, to see this life in a team who had their worst finish ever this year in winter, just yep. three, four, five months ago now. I mean, crazy how much uh, a few players have made the difference here to bring Crazy. this team to the top of the standings. Yeah, Poof. and obviously for Mad Lions, it's uh, not all doom and gloom. Yep. A loss is not going to completely blemish their record. Their undefeated run had to end at some point. Uh, so far in our new format, no team has been able to go undefeated. The best of one format makes it a very challenging thing to do. Uh, but they still sit at the top of the table. They're still a very strong team. Um, right now we have a bit of an interesting battle. Mad defeated G2, G2 defeated Fnatic, and Fnatic defeated Mad. Circle of success. Yes. Right? But the top of the table is a very close battle right now with our top teams very clearly being defined in Mad, Fnatic, and G2. And the thing that I love about it, uh, well, you guys, you can listen to us while you go vote for player of the game. Uh, Oscar Renan, Razor, Noah, are your options. Oscar is the right choice. Um, <laughs> but you can pick whatever you want. 
Noah definitely did well, so did Razor. But you know, the, the most important thing for Fnatic, because of their poor performances, yeah. they need like a top three finish. Well, yeah, and that's the thing, is that you forget that it's not just about the split, no matter how good you do in the split, uh, it does not matter if you do not make it to season finals. Season finals. That's the only way you're going to qualify for the World Championship. So while this is a good look for Fnatic, they still have to maintain this level throughout the season in order to stand a chance to be able to qualify for those season finals. Yeah. So could potentially be a difficult road. It's going to be a hard road no matter what. Oh, for but sure. we'll see how hard it is for them. Depends on the performance. I'm excited for best of three. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. We're yeah. you know, five days in to nine days of games here. But excited about this one. Uh, that's enough from us. Let's send it over to Trouble, who's standing by with Humanoid and Noah. Thank you very much, guys. Indeed, I'm standing here with Humanoid and Noah. Congratulations on the win, guys. You just made an undefeated mad defeated. Humanoid, I'll come to you first. Your previous team, how does it feel? Uh, I mean, it feels pretty good. I didn't really do anything, though. So, yeah, it was basically top lane in 1v9. So, but it feels good, yeah. Talking about the top lane, if you don't mind passing over the, the microphone. Noah, yes. in the video you said mm -hmm. you want to play versus your friend Chasey, you want to beat Chasey, yes. and then you want to stroke his head. Yes, I know his weak side, a weak, uh, weak point. Okay, so how does it feel now that you beat him? Very good. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> Did you see Oscar in solo kill him top? Yes, I, I said uh, Chasey no kusante, no, I know. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Yeah. Now, okay, perfect. You hold, you hold your, uh, your promises. Now, I just want to ask, how has it been playing in the LEC? Yeah. And who do you think is the best AD carry you have played against? Not me. Not you. Someone else. Uh, can me? Yes, me. it can be you as well. No, me. Okay. <laughs> All right. Humanoid, how did you see this game? Because... This was, today we had very slow games and a lot of the team said, you know what, just to make it into the best of series, we just play slow, steady scale. You guys did not do that. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure what happened actually. I think we were outscaling them still, but uh, we managed to win at some point in mid game too. So it was pretty good. Uh, I think they played a lot around mid, so I was kind of just chilling, uh, nothing happening. But yeah, we, we managed to play better in team fights. A little bit more for personal question, Humanoid. There was a, some point where you said, you know what, I don't enjoy playing League too much anymore. It's just a job for me. And now you seem like in much higher spirits that the team is winning, the bot lane swapping. How are you feeling now? Uh, I mean, I think I didn't enjoy it because I was just losing all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we were losing every scrim. So that was kind of annoying. But now that we are winning, it's fun, yeah. So I like it. Absolutely. Noah, yeah. tomorrow you're playing versus Vitality, and Upset is one of the best AD carries that we have in Europe. What this do you is, think about him? This is best, no? Sorry? <coughs> this is not now. No, it's tomorrow. Tomorrow, yes. Upset yes. is now not, not, not one of the uh, Oh, ADC. now he's not? Yes, just uh, rest oh. here, no? Oh, so are you going to stomp Upset tomorrow? Mm, I will try. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Well, any final thoughts on your game versus uh, Vitality tomorrow, Humanoid? Uh, it's going to be a free win. I'm going to... Perks, you know, Perks has no idea what's coming for him. So, do you yeah, have any it. hidden tech? Uh, I do, but I'm not going to share it here. Okay, of course. Now, I just want a final thought on having Noah play for Fnatic. Of course, you got uh, a new whole bot lane, but how does he feel playing with such a great caliber for Nady Carry. Uh, I think it's, it's honestly great. Uh, I think he's doing really well so far. And he's really aggressive, which I like. And yeah, honestly, no issues. Does it make your job easier? Uh, for sure. Yeah, I don't have to, I don't have to do damage if uh, he's doing all the damage. All right, awesome, guys. Thank you very much, Noah, Thank for the you. interview. Thank you, Humanoid. Thank you. Congrats on the win again. We're going to throw it over to PGL, where Frankie and Brox are accompanied by Oscar Ingen.